What's going on everybody? Coach Vega here. Today's episode of Coach Vega's Playbook is about your energy and what to do with it and how to harness it and why you should harness it. Because I work with a lot of athletes and a lot of the times we spend uh, a little bit of our time together talking about uh, you know their journey, who's on their team, who's on the roster, where they stand in the depth chart. Uh, you know what's the the likelihood of them having the starting role or starting job. And ninety five percent of the time that I spend talking to them, I always hear them mention that this guy is really good at this. His footwork is great. He's got a strong arm. Um, this, that, and so on. And I always mention to my athlete that I'm working with at the time, I tell them, I say, it doesn't matter, right? Why are we here working today together? Why are we meeting one-on-one? -on -one? Why are we spending time on the field? Is it to watch them perform on Friday night or Saturday afternoon? Or is it for you to get out there at the helm and take control of of your team's destiny right why are we meeting and i'm talking specifically about the quarterback position because there's only one on each team only one guy can have that starting job every week right i just notice a lot of my guys have so much energy and, and and focus around other players, right? And my message today is for you to harness your energy and you to put your energy and your focus into yourself and for you to focus on what you're strong at. What are your strengths? What are you really good at? What are the gifts that you were given, right? And then with those gifts, you continue to mold and to develop and to master those gifts and the skill set that you have. Because when we spend our energy on what's going on around us and the people that are around us and our competition, right, that takes away energy from our own gifts and our own skill set. So, for example, I have my iced coffee here, right? If I pour some of this out, right, a little bit of that energy out on to somebody else I have less of my cold brew to drink for me and it's not a selfish thing to do that why, why do we want to focus on ourselves and why do we want to manifest and maximize our potential why do we want to put energy into ourselves we want to put energy into ourselves because when we can maximize our ability and our talents and our skill set through discipline and work ethic, when we can do that and we can become the best version of us, we can then go turn around and go help somebody else. If we're not great, we can't go turn and give somebody else advice because we haven't maximized our own self, right? Mastering the self is number one. So for all of you athletes out there, yeah, I mean, I, I used to have role models. I used to have people that I looked up to. I used to watch videos of other athletes. It's good to do that. You don't want to mimic their game. But I think the first step for you to becoming the, the best, most elite version of you as an athlete, as a student athlete, as a human, is to figure out what you're really good at. What is your strength? I'm 5'11". When I was playing football, I was about 190 pounds, so I wasn't tall, but I figured out what I was really good at. I was, I was a great mobile quarterback. I was able to run and create and extend plays, right? And I used that to my advantage. I didn't go try to be somebody like Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers, right? The guys that are gonna be able to stand on platform and let it rip, right? I understood that, okay, this is my gift, right? I'm able to move, I'm athletic. Let me extend plays, right? Let me use my feet. Let me create situations that the defense wouldn't expect, right? And I use that to my advantage. The same goes for you. What are you really good at? 
right? If you're not fast, right? Spend time mastering platform throws, okay? To the point where you can get that ball out of your hands in one step, right? And then from there, start to add in other wrinkles to your game. But number one thing is find your strength. What are you really, really good at? What is something that you were gifted? And then maximize that, continue to develop it, hire a coach, work with a trainer, right? Have somebody help you with a different lens, look at your game and help you develop it, all right? And then with that, by you continuously developing your strength and maximizing your potential, you then are becoming prepared for any opportunity that falls onto your lap or in your plate, right? Opportunities are going to come. We always wanna be prepared for those because if we're not prepared and an opportunity comes, we're gonna lose that opportunity. So I'm a firm believer in whatever you do on a regular basis, whatever your habits are day to day, whatever you're in harmony with or you're in sync with will come into your life and into your path, all right? Don't try to follow somebody else's path. Don't try to mimic somebody else. Don't try to be like somebody else. Be you. Harness your gifts, harness your strengths, develop them, maximize them with the help of those around you, okay? And continue to develop you first and foremost, all right? And then everything else will start to come in harmony and come in sync with you, all right? So I wanted to just, just to hop on and talk about that because I can't stand listening to athletes that I work with, athletes that I'm around, always talk about the next guy. They're always talking about the next man, right? And it's stripping them of their own gift, right? Or their own value by always highlighting somebody else. And in the world we live in now, you can scroll and see a million people in a day. Not a million. You could see thousands of people, hundreds of people every day. And you can constantly compare this one to that one. Okay, this one to that one. Everything's readily available to be compared, right? And when you start to compare things, you strip them of their own true value. So by you comparing yourself to somebody else or somebody else's journey, you're taking away from the true value of you, okay? So understand your value, understand what your strengths are, and continue to develop and craft them every single day. And everything around you that's in sync with you in your beliefs, in your energy, in your frequency will be pulled into your frame, all right? So it's better to be prepared <clears throat> for something that's coming that you don't know of than to not be prepared at all just because you can't see it right now. So always be prepared for that thing that might come into your frame. All right, always be prepared for that thing that might just fall right onto your lap. All right, always stay ready. Always stay ready. All right, that's it for today for Coach Vega's playbook. Remember, comparison is the thief of joy. Focus on you, focus on your value, your skill set maximize what God gave you. All right, y'all.